about what I'm going to do, Laura. I'll start in a minute. What's that you're drawing, Floppy? Hey, that's not Mount Bread Knife. Sure it is. That's what it would look like if Mount Bread Knife was a space rocket. Oh, really? Floppy's clever, but I'm glad Mount Bread Knife isn't a rocket. It might take off. Hey, Nick, I know it's called Mount Bread Knife, but you're drawing a kitchen knife. I know. That's because I had a kitchen knife right in front of me. That's the trouble with all kinds of artists. They're always doing something that you're not expecting them to do. Hey, you bear! Huh? I finished my drawing, you bear. You're fast. But, Mingle, your whole drawing is nothing but solid green paint. Well, from up there in the tree, all I could see was leaves. Ooh. Like fun. Yeah, what a good idea. Let's do it. It'll be the biggest drawing in the world. Oh, but Floppy, we haven't got a piece of paper big enough. Yeah, that's right. Wait, we've got lots of drawing paper. We'll just put little sheets together on the ground to make a big sheet. There we are. That's great. We've got a sheet of paper as big as a tree. Come on, let's get started. Can we all do some drawing? Sure, but watch it, Nick. Just be sure you don't draw any kitchen knives, okay? You stop me. Hey! Play on me. Cut it out. I won't draw hey! any knives. Stop it. No more arguing. We've got work to do. Now, Mimi and Laura, you're in charge of mixing the paint. Okay, Floppy. Okay, and Mingle, you're the best climber and flyer we've got, so you've got to measure the eucalyptus tree for us. So our drawing will be right. Sure, but how will I do it? Well, first of all, how tall are you, Mingle? Twenty inches. Just find out how many times your height the tree is. You mean measure my height against the tree? Oh, wow! Well. <laughs> Uh, exactly 30 times me. 30 times Mingle. And Mingle is 20 inches tall. That makes how many feet? The tree is 50 feet high. Gee, Floppy, how'd you figure that out so fast? And how tall are you, Nick? Oh, I'm just two feet tall. Hmm. The tree is 25 times his height. Oh, I see. Floppy, you're a lot faster than I am in arithmetic. One, two... Three, four. I'll go measure the branches. Good, but when you finish measuring each branch, don't bother coming down. Just yell the measurements from up there. Okay. Twenty-one. There, that's the top of the tree. Gee, I'm busy. Our drawing is going to be exactly the size of the tree. Hey, Floppy! Eight times me! Okay. That means the left branch is 13 feet long. Right, Nick. You do six somersaults and a bit more. Okay. <sighs> this branch on the right is six and a half times me. Okay. That's just a little over ten feet. your father to take a picture of it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Blue Bear, you should tell Miss Lewis, too. It would make a good story for her. There'll be a story and pictures in the newspaper. And soon we'll all be famous artists. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You've got paint on your face.
Oh, so in here. Oh. I'll go and bring Papa and Miss Lewis to see our painting. <clears throat> what a good sleep. Where's Mingle, I wonder? Oh. Uh, weather! Thank you. What have you been doing, Rubert? We've been making a really enormous painting, and Mingle was helping. You should go take a look. It's right over there. Hmm. Whoa! Oh. What's that? I'll catch it. There. It's some kind of painting, but not very good. Who could have done such an uninteresting painting? Hmm, I wonder what it's supposed to be. There's some more over there. Oh, good heavens. This is part of our eucalyptus tree. Oh! The wind is blowing them away. We've got to catch them. What's all this about, Rubert? The kids and I have made a gigantic painting, and we want you to take a picture of it. That's nice, Rubert, but what's all the rush about? What's it a painting of, dear? You say this painting of yours is 50 feet high? Fantastic! I'll make sure there's a big story about it in tomorrow's newspaper. Where did you ever find a piece of drawing paper big enough for a painting that size? You'll understand when you see it, Mommy. The painting may be too big for my camera. I'll have to use my widest lens and get a long way back from it to get it all in. Is that supposed to be a eucalyptus tree? It must be one of those modern paintings, all mixed up. It's so very strange. What happened to our picture, Floppy? The wind blew all the paper away. We found all the pieces, but we're having trouble getting them back the way they were. Oh, it's awfully difficult. See if you can get it together. It should be easy. Just put all the pieces back where they were before. That sounds a lot easier than it is. Let me try that one. Now, where did this piece go before? Oh, think of something floppy. My arithmetic won't help me with this problem. It's too complicated. There's hundreds of these pieces to fit together. <laughs> That's the biggest jigsaw puzzle in the whole world. Papa, don't just stand there. Come and help us, please. All right. When it's done, it'll be a picture of that tree. Huh. I bet this'll be a lot of fun. Now, this is a bit of leaf I've got. I've always liked jigsaw puzzles. Let's go and try it, Mrs. Koala. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, this reminds me of my childhood. I used to be an expert at doing jigsaw puzzles. They work nearly as big as this one, though. Jigsaws are fun for children and adults both. <laughs> I think this is a leaf that goes at the top of a tree. This looks like the end of the branch at the bottom. Whoa! I know this piece won't fit over there, and it won't fit here either. This piece doesn't fit anywhere. Whoever put this piece in was wrong. It doesn't fit. Papa, I put it there and it's right. Your piece won't go there. Well, it looks better there than your piece. Is this right? Don't think so. Oh, wrong. Did you try it? Try again. Oh! I'm afraid our system isn't working very well. Oh, well, it's not as easy as I thought it would be. But we'll never give up, will we? Never!